ओके गाइज सो वेलकम बैक अगेन सो इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स यूज द गूगल ड्राइव ए पी आई टू अपलोड अ फाइल टू क्रिएट अ पब्लिक यू आर एल ऑफ दैट फाइल एंड देन फाइनली वील सी दैट हाउ डू वी डिलीट दैट फाइल सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स डू इट सो एज वी कैन सी हेयर दैट हेयर आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ न्यू एन पी एम प्रोजेक्ट बाई डूइंग एन पी एम एन एट हाइफ एन वाई एंड हेयर वी हैव द डिफॉल्ट पैकेज डॉट जेस एन फाइल आई हैव नॉट इंस्टॉल एनी पैकेजेज एज ऑफ नाउ एंड हेयर वी सिंपली क्रिएटेड दिस एप डॉट जे एस फाइल विट इज करेंटली एम टी एंड हेयर वी हैव दिस फाइल दैट इज कॉल गर्ल डॉट जे पैक इमेज एंड वी विल बी अपलोडिंग दिस इमेज टू आर गूगल ड्राइव यूजिंग द गूगल ड्राइव ए पी आई सो द फर्स्ट थिंग वी नीड टू डू इज टू गेट द ओथ क्रेडेंशियल्स सो फॉर दैट वी नीड टू गो टू कॉन्सोल डॉट क्लाउड डॉट गूगल डॉट कॉम एंड आई प्रोवाइड दिस लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो एंड इफ यू हैव एन क्रिएटेड दिस प्रोजेक्ट देन यू वोट बी सींग दिस स्क्रीन हेयर बिकॉज इट्स अ स्क्रीन ऑफ अ प्रोजेक्ट सो यू माइट बी सींग हेयर दैट क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट सो लेट्स क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट फॉर दिस एप्लीकेशन सो लेट्स गो हेयर यू माइट नॉट बी सींग एनी ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट सो लेट्स क्लिक हेयर दैट इज टू क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट and now here we need to specify the project name so let's specify the project name to be google drive api tutorial something like this and for the location let it be at its default value and now let's click on create so now we have created a new project here and the name of the project is google drive api in case it is not selected so let's click here that is select this project because we would be working inside this project So since we are using the Google Drive API, so we need to enable the Google Drive API here. So let's go to this link here that is APIs and Services. So let's click on APIs and Services. And now here we need to enable the Google Drive API for this project. So let's click on Enable APIs and Services. And here we can either search or we can scroll down here and we need to click this thing here that is Google Drive API. So let's select this thing here. and now we need to enable it so let's click on enable so it might take a moment so now the api has been enabled that is the google drive api has been enabled for our project and now let's go to this thing here that is credentials so let's click on credentials here and here we need to create our oauth credentials so now what we need to do we need to click here that is create credentials so let's click on create credentials and here we need to select oauth client id so let me select this thing here that is oauth client id so basically it will generate us a key pair that is the client id and the client secret so it says that we need to configure the configure the consent screen first so let's click here that is configure the consent screen that is the screen which you see that is uh, do you want to enable this application to be to have access to your google drive so that is what a consent screen means so now here what you need to select is external here and now let's click on create and now beware if you want to run your application without any problems then you should select the same options as i am selecting otherwise you would be running into problems so now we have selected this external thing here and now let's click on create and now it will ask us the na app name so for the app name let's provide it google and this can be any name so google drive api tutorial like this and for the support email choose your email and here i am choosing my email from which i am currently logged in and now one thing you should remember that you should not upload a app logo because it would ask you for verification then and since it would take a couple of days for verification so i would suggest that if you are just trying out then do not use an app logo as of now and now for the app domain uh, you can leave it as it is and similarly for the authorized domains and here we need to provide the developer contact information so you can provide in your email address so i am providing in my email address like this and now let's click on save and continue so now we do not have to do anything inside this scopes uh, thing here we simply need to select save and continue and for the test users also let me simply click uh, save and continue and now for the summary let's click on back to dashboard so the oauth consent screen has been done so now let's go back to credentials and now here let's click on create credentials and here we need to select this thing here that is oauth client id so let's select this and here we need to choose the application type and for the application type we'll choose web application and then the name could can be any name it just identifies this uh, uh, client id and client secret so let it be web client 1 and here 
we need to define the redirect URIs. And here we need to add in the redirect URI. And for the redirect URI, let me provide in the URI of this Google Playground, that is OAuth Playground. So let me copy it from here. And I'll provide this link also in the description below. And we'll be using this site that is Google OAuth Playground to get our refresh token in a moment. But for now, let me simply copy this uh, URL that is developers.google.com forward slash OAuth Playground. So now let me paste it here. And mind you that uh, you should not put a forward slash here. If you put a forward slash here, then you would be running into errors while, uh, while giving access to your application. So you should know that you should not put a forward slash here after OAuth Playground. So let's uh, do it like this. And now let's click on create. And now we have our client ID and our client secret. So don't try to use this client ID and client secret because by the time you are going to use this, the application would have been deleted. So now let's click on OK because we can get this client ID and client secret later on. So let me simply click on OK here. And this is the web client that we created. And these are the client ID and the client secret. And this is the things here. That is the ID and the secret. So now let's, uh, so before going into the Google OAuth Playground, let's go to our application here that we have created. So here inside the app.js file, before doing anything, let me install a dependency and it is called Google APIs. So let me install it. So npm i Google APIs like this. And now we have this dependency installed. So now let's go to this app.js file. And here we need to require Google from this dependency. So we'll say const something equal to require Google APIs. And we simply extract the Google thing from this thing here. That is Google like this. So let me close this window here. That is this terminal window here. And now what we need to do, we need to set the client ID, the client secret and the redirect URI here. So const client ID equal to something and let me copy it here and let me paste it here and let me change it to client secret like this. And then we need to define another constant variable and that is the redirect URI. So it should be something. And then one thing we need more here and that is the refresh token. And we'll be generating all this refresh token in a moment. So refresh token would be equal to something like this. So let's go back here. Let's copy the client ID from here. Let's go back. Let's paste it here. The client ID. Let's go back again. Let's copy the client secret. Let's go back and let me paste in the client secret here. And for the redirect URI, let me copy and paste this URI. That is developers.google.com forward slash OAuth playground. So let me paste it here. And now we need to get a refresh token for our application. So let's generate that refresh token. So let's go to this uh, URL here that is developers.google.com forward slash OAuth playground. And here we need to select and authorize the API. And since we are interested in the Google Drive API, so you can scroll down here and you can simply get this uh, Drive API from here. So this is the Drive API v3 which we are going to use. So you need to check this thing here, that is this thing, this URL, or otherwise you can simply copy it here and you can paste it here like this. And now again, this is an important thing, that is you need to check this gear icon or you need to click on this gear icon to use our own OAuth cred credentials that we just generated. That is the client ID and client secret. So let's click here or let's, uh, um, or let's put a check mark on this box and here we need to provide in the client ID and the client secret. So let's grab this client ID from here. So let's copy it. Let's paste it here. And now let's go to this thing here and let's copy the client secret and let me paste in the client secret here. So now we can close this window. That is this gear window. So let's click on close and now let's click on authorize APIs. So let's click here. That is authorize APIs. And now it will ask us that is from which Google account you want to use a drive that is on which drive the file should be stored. So here I'm selecting my YouTube channel account. So let's select this account here. So now we are getting this error that is authorization error. And it was intentional on my part to show you this error because I wanted to show you that how do you fix it. And the error is because, because the application is currently being tested and it hasn't been verified by Google as it is written here. So we need to whitelist this email address 
to our developer console so let's copy this email address and let's go to this thing here that is our google cloud platform dashboard and here we need to add this account that is the account from which we need to access the google drive to our whitelist account so let's click here that is OAuth consent screen and here we need to add the test user so let's click on add users and here we need to paste in the username or the email address of the user of whom we want to use the google drive so now let's click on save here so now we have added one of the test users here so if we click on show more we see that we have this uh, user here and now if we go back and if we go back here by clicking the back button let's go back once more and let's do it once, once again so here you need to provide in the client id and client secret so the client secret is gone from here so let me copy in the client secret very quickly so it was here so let's copy it let's go here let's paste it let's close it and we have this uh, api already here inside this input box so let's click on authorize apis and now let's select this uh, uh, this email address that we just provided inside our authorized client inside the OAuth consent screen and now it says that google hasn't verified this app so it is not a problem for us because we are making this app so let's click on advanced and now let's click here that is go to google drive api tutorial unsafe so let's click here and now we see that it says that we need to grant this application some permissions for our google drive to edit to create to delete all of our google drive files so now let's click on allow here and now again it asks us to confirm so let's click on allow so now we see that we get back an authorization code here as we can see here and now we would exchange this authorization code for the refresh token and for the access token so let's click here that is exchange authorization code for tokens and now we have this refresh token so this is only what we are interested in so if this thing happens then you can simply click on step 2 and here we can get the refresh token back so let's copy this refresh token and we do not need the access token for this application and now let's paste in the refresh token here like this so now we have the client id we have the client secret we have the redirect uri and now we do not need to use the developer console anymore or the google OAuth playground anymore so now we need to initialize our OAuth client here so we'll say const OAuth to client equal to new google dot OAuth dot OAuth2 and here we need to pass in three things that is the client id the client secret and the redirect uri like this uh, let me make my font a little bit smaller here like this and now we need to set uh, let me save this and now we need to set the credentials on this o 2 client so we'll say o 2 client dot set credentials and here we can pass in the refresh token by passing in the refresh token like this and now our o 2 client has been created and now what we need to do we need to upload this file that is the girl.jpg image into our google drive and if we go to our google drive as of now we see that it is an empty drive here as we can see here so let's go back and now we need to do a couple of things firstly we need to get the path of this image so for that we need to use the path module and we also need to use the file system module that is built inside node.js so let's require both those modules or both those dependencies so const path equal to require path and then const file system equal to require fs like this and now we need to create a path for this file that is this girl.jpg image because we want to upload it to google drive so we can create the path very easily so we'll say const file path that is the path of the file which we want to upload so path.join and here we can provide in the dir name and the name of the file and in our case the name of the file is girl.jpg like this and now even before creating this file path what we can do we can initialize our drive here so what we can say we can simply say drive that is the google drive equal to google.drive and here we need to pass in the options and here for the version number 
we can pass in v2 or v3 but we are interested in this v3 here that is the latest version of google drive api like this and for the auth object here we can simply pass in the oauth 2 client that we just initialized here that is this oauth 2 client so now we have a reference to our google drive and now we have the file path also that we created a moment ago and now to upload the file let's create a function here so let's create uh, a function here that is function and let's call this function upload file like this and here we can simply use try and catch and this should, should be an async function so let's use async here and we are going to use try and catch here inside this function so try catch and if there is an error we are simply going to console log the error so error dot message like this in case there is an error and now inside this try block we want to upload the file to our google drive so what we can say we can simply say const response equal to await drive dot files dot create and here we need to pass in the options that is what type of creation we want so firstly we need to pass in the request body and i'll explain it to you that what request body means and what media means in a moment but let me write it down first and the request body would contain the name of the file by which name you want to save it inside your google drive so let me provide here name and the, this name would be the name of the file which should be saved inside the google drive so for uh, so for demonstration let me provide here a uh, beautiful girl uh, girl.jpg like this because we want this name to be saved inside our google drive and then we need to also provide in the mime type of this file so mime type should be image forward slash jpeg and in case you do not know that how to get the mime type of a file then there is a package called mime types you can use that package it is very simple to use and i am not using that package because it is super simple to use and since it's a tutorial so i am directly typing in the mime type here that says image forward slash jpeg and that is the mime type of this file that is curl.jpeg and now we need to define the media for this file that is the actual content of the file and here we again need to provide in the mime type so mime type would again be image forward slash jpeg like this and then we need to provide in the body for this media and body would contain the actual file and for this what we need to do we need to create a readable stream of this file so we can create that very easily using the file system module that we imported here that is fs so here we simply need to say fs dot create read stream like this and here we need to provide in the path of the file and the path of the file is this path here that is file path so we can directly provide in the file path here like this and now that's all what we need to do and finally what we can do we can simply log in the response data here so we can say console.log response dot data like this so let's save this so this is all about how do you upload a file to google drive so let's run this function that is upload file directly here so let's say upload file like this and let's save this and let's open a terminal here let's clear out the terminal and let's go back once again inside our drive and we see that currently it is empty so let's run node app.js like this and it will take a moment to upload and we see that the file has been uploaded and the files are uniquely identified in your google drive by this id which we get from response.data that is the response.data object contains the id of the file which is unique inside your google drive no matter if you upload any other file with the same name on your google drive then the id would be different so the name would be same but the ids are different so the, there would be two files so now let's go back to our google drive and let's see if we have the image here so now we see that we have this image here that says beautiful girl.jpg and this is the name we specified and our drive contains this file so now let's see that how do we delete this file because deletion is very easy and later on we'll see that how do we share a link to this file so let's go back here and to delete a file let me comment this thing out from here that is upload file to delete a file let's create another function here so let's create a function here that is function and this should again be an async function async function and let's say delete file 
like this and again we are going to use try catch so this time i would be a little bit faster so console.log error.message in case there is an error and here we can simply say const response equal to await drive dot files dot delete and here we need to provide in the file id and here we need to provide in the file id and the file id which we want to delete is this file that we just created so let me copy this file id from here and let me paste it here inside the quotes like this and finally what we can do we can simply log in the response here this time so, or let me log in the response.data and response.status so console.log response.data and we are going to log in the response.status like this so let's save this and let me call the execute this function that is delete file so let's execute it here so delete file like this so let's save this and before uh, executing this file that is app.js let's go back again once again and we see that we have this file right here let's go back and if we execute node app.js it would execute this delete file function that we created here and the file should be deleted so let's do it right here and we see that we, we, we do not get anything inside the response.data but we see that we are getting a response status here that says 204 which means that the body has no content but the HTTP status code is 204 which means the request has been successfully processed by the server and if we go back to our Google Drive we see that the file is no more present here because it is it has been deleted from our Google Drive. So now let's see that how do we create a public URL for this file which we want to upload so let's comment this delete file function and now we need to upload this file once again to be present on our google drive so let's simply do app.js or note app.js so we see that the file is again present here that is beautifulgirl.jpg and this time it has a different id because this this was the id previously and this time we have this id so now to create a public url for this file what we need to do let's create another function that is and this would again be an async function so async function and let's call this function generate public url like this and let me comment this thing out from here that is upload file because if we execute node app.js again then this would again be executed so i'm commenting this out from here and now here we again use try and catch and if there is an error we can simply console log the error so console.log and again let me minimize this terminal window here so error.message like this and now to create a public url for this file we need to do a couple of things firstly we need to change the permissions of this file because currently the permission set for this file is only for the user who uploaded the file can see this file that is if we, let, let me go back here once again so if i so if we click on this file here we see that the file is not shared at as 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 we can see here and now what we want to do we want to create a public url that can be shared easily with any of the users and anyone can see that file so let's go back here firstly we need to set the permission on this file and let me copy in the file id here because this is the file id which, which we want to use so let's copy it and let me create a constant here that is file id like this and here we need to create a permission so we'll say await drive dot permissions dot create and here we need to provide in the object and here we need to provide in, in the file id so file id would be this file id like this and here we need to provide in the request body and the request body would contain two things that is the role which we want to set on this file and the role should be reader and the type would be anyone like this and if you want you can uh, capture this response inside a constant uh, variable here but i'm not going to do that because i know that this would succeed and now finally we need to get the link of this file so let's get the link very easily so we'll say const result equal to await drive dot files dot get and here we need to provide in the object here with the file id so file id would be the file id 
like this and then we need to provide in the fields which we want this uh, this function to return because it returns a number of fields but we are only interested in the web view link and the web content link and i would explain it to you that what web view link means and what web content link means so let me provide in the fields here which we want to be returned here so firstly we need the web view link and secondly we need the web content link like this and finally we can log in the result here so console.log result dot data like this so now let's save this and now let's open our terminal here and now let me clear out the console and now let's do node not npde but node app.js and it would take a moment and nothing happens because we haven't executed or called this generate public url anywhere in this app.js so let's call that function so generate public url so let's save this and now let's again do node app.js so now we get a response back and we have the web content link and we have the web view link so now let's copy this web view link from here so let's copy it and let's go back here and now let's try to open this link here so let me paste it here and let's open it and we see that we are directly taken to the file inside the google drive here but you might be thinking that uh, since i am logged in as the current user who uploaded this file so therefore i am seeing this so let me open an incognito window here and let me paste the link here and now again we see that we are getting the sign in button here since we are not signed into google here but we are able to see this image here and now what will happen if we use the web content link so let me copy the web content link and basically it would directly download the file to your system so let's open another tab here and let's paste it here and it should be downloaded here and we see that it has been downloaded here if you can see it and if you go to the incognito window here and if we paste in the same url that is the web content link then it would again download the file to our system so we see that it has been downloaded to our system so that is the difference between the web content link and the web view link and now one thing i forgot to show you that is if we click on this girl here or let's let's right click and let's click on view details so we see that previously we were getting a lock here because the file was locked and now we see here two things that is the user who is the owner of this file and here we have this icon here which says anyone on the internet with this link can view this file so guys this is all about this video so if you have liked the video do hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day and have a great day and stay connected